Hey everyone, my name is Hamza Burbo and uh, with me, Andreas Katis. Uh, we are here today to present COCOSIM. Uh, COCOSIM stands for Contracts Based Compositional Verification of Semenic Models. We will start by presenting some slides about formal verification and what is COCOSIM with Andreas. And I will show a, a, a small demo of how to use COCOSIM. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Andreas Katis, uh, and I'll be giving uh, the uh, introduction to what COCOSIM is. And uh, I'll start off with the actual problem that we're trying to solve through COCOSIM, which is known as software hardware verification. Verification is essentially a, a, a procedure that is, uh, allows us to prove that a given system that we have always complies with a set of requirements that we've written for it. Uh, this is coming to in direct contrast with uh, what you may be more familiar with, which is uh, actual testing of the system where we're trying various inputs to uh, try and expose vulnerabilities that may exist uh, in, in uh, the target system. In, uh, com uh, contra in contradiction to testing, verification uh, is uh, trying a different approach where we are uh, essentially trying to compose a proof that uh, the system is correct with respect to the parameters. Now, this is possible by essentially writing mathematical proofs based on a model that we've written for the actual system. And this uh, uh, internally would seem similar to how mathematicians write uh, proofs for a given theorem. Uh, techniques like the ones that are employed by verification are formally known as uh, formal methods. The particular verification technique that is used by Kokosim is uh, known as model checking. Uh, the advantages of model checking are essentially that uh, provide a precise description of uh, both the requirements and the model. Uh, which also means that uh, we the results that we get out of a, a model checking result are unambiguous. And that means that uh, we can be confident about uh, the tool when it when it says that a set of requirements can be satisfied or where uh, it doesn't. And the biggest uh, uh, disadvantage of model checking techniques uh, currently is known as the state explosion problem, and which essentially means that the complexity of the system directly affects the performance of model checking approaches. So uh, here we have a visual representation of uh, what model checking means within the context of verification where we start initially with the question of whether our given system, in this case a controller, satisfies a set of requirements that we've written for it. In the context of model checking then, this question translates directly into whether a mathematical model that we've described for the system satisfies a formal representation that we've written for the requirements. So what is COCOSIM? COCOSIM is essentially an open source MATLAB plugin uh, that enables the verification of Cilinic models and it, uh, it comes with uh, powerful scalable features that try to uh, improve upon uh, the uh, disadvantages that come with state explosion. The requirements that we write in COCOSIM are typically expressed using a uh, signaling library. And here you can see an example system uh, along with a set of requirements that we attach to it uh, in the form of a contract. Now, if we take a look uh, inside the contract, we can see that uh, the contract, the set of requirements are essentially uh, two, twofold. The set of assumptions that we make regarding the system and its environment, along with the set of guarantees, which are essentially the properties and the, the actual requirements that we want to prove uh, against the system. Now, uh, let's start with demonstrating how you can uh, install Cocosim. First of all, you need to go to NASA Software BNV organization in GitHub. And so once you are in the COCOSIM repository, you can just clone uh, the projects in your local machine. You can follow the instructions on uh, and the documentation to install the tools and the binaries used by the tool. I also, uh, there are some publications and some technical reports in the bottom to, to for some case studies. Once you have cloned your Cocosim repository, you can just run start underscore Cocosim. That will add your Cocos the Cocosim menu in the Seminic editor. So you can run and call Cocosim within your Seminic model. I will go now to the Seminic demo and it's an autopilot example. I picked it from this technical report 
I have uh, done with uh, Anastasia Mavri, the political theologian Mohammed Hijazi. I fix a simple requirement about the autopilot, which is that the maximum error in command should not exceed 15 degrees. It's an interesting model because it has a lot of nonlinearities and it has like inverse of matrix, quaternion multiplication. Um, so it consists of six components, the autopilot responsible of computing, the error in command as well, elevator and rudder commands. Signal conditioning contains a signal mapping from the autopilot generated commands to the aircraft's input commands. The environment is uh, uh, contains a wind model and the aircraft dynamics, which is like a six degree of freedom aircraft's model. And then we have the sensors component that contains sensor models for generating output measurements. Our property is talking about the iterant command and that's the autopilot component output. Uh, in particular, the role autopilot that is uh, computing this uh, specific value. You can see attached, there's just a contract taking the output uh, we created from scratch. So in order to add a contract to your model, you just type contract or you can go to uh, the simulink library and look for a uh, cocosin specification library and just drop uh, the contracts block in your model. Contracts is usually attached to the input and the output of some component that you have some properties uh, about that component. In this case, we don't need any inputs and any assumptions. We only have one output and we want to make sure that is within 15 degrees. So in the validator, you can choose how many assumptions you have. We have none since we don't talk about the inputs. We have one guarantee, which is one requirement, and we have zero modes. So I will delete the modes and delete the assumptions. No need for this demonstration uh, to have any assumptions on the inputs. And I will uh, keep only uh, the output. I will name the output the error in command and use it in the guarantee. So the guarantee is simple. It's we want to prove that the, uh, the error command is between minus 15 and 15, so I will put that the absolute value of the error command is always less than 15, and that's my property. So it's a Boolean property that should always hold during the whole execution of the system. I will put the ID of the property, which is AP007, and then I will attach my output of my component to the input of the contract. Now I have the model attached with the contract. I can just run CocoSim to try to prove or falsify that requirement for us. So for any possible inputs of the raw autopilot is uh, the area in command within minus 15 and 15 degrees. So we just go to the tools menu in CocoSim. Since we did start CocoSim, the CocoSim menu is there and then we do, we do proof properties. This will run a lot of SIPs uh, starting from pre-processing the model and generating a formal representation of the model as explained in Andrea's slide. And once the formal representation is generated, we call the model checker uh, and the solver. Then we have the results back and then we bring them to the user. Now, after 375 seconds, CocoSim terminated with the verification results uh, brought back to the user. Here we can see that the result of the property AP007 is safe. And there is a verification summary that is generated in an HTML format. So we can try to falsify this requirement by changing the 15, the constant 15 to something lower. And run the CocoSim again and see if the model checker can to can find the counterexample. So now after 380 seconds, uh, kind to terminated the ver verification and CocoSim reports back the results to the user. So in the HTML verification summary results, we can see that the property has been falsified and the user can access the counterexample or the exact test case that can um, falsify the requirements. In this particular case, uh, kind to uh, give the exact inputs that can be used to um, find that the output is equal to 15, which is uh, greater than 10. To check our other use cases and other properties on the autopilot 
pilot case study, please refer to our technical report. Thank you.